Okay guys, so one of the biggest reasons why we all love Xiaomi phones is that they make it so easy to unlock the bootloader and the development community for them is absolutely enormous. So if you're gonna get the Redmi K30 Pro, one of the first things that you should do with it is go ahead and apply to have the bootloader unlocked. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna have to go ahead and set the device up with Xiaomi. Now, when you first get the device, you're gonna wanna go in and set up your own Xiaomi account. It's really, really important to do that. Otherwise, you can't go forth in unlocking the bootloader. Once you do that, you're gonna need to go into about device, all specs, MIUI version, tap that five times to unlock developer options. After you have developer options unlocked, you're gonna go into developer options. You're going to enable OEM unlocking. Then you're gonna to have to go into the me unlock status. And for this, you are going to need a SIM card uh, to bind all of this stuff together with your Xiaomi account. After you do that, you're gonna hit add account and device. And at that point, you're ready to go ahead and start the bootloader unlocking process. Once you've done that, I'll have links on my website to where you guys can go ahead and download uh, the Me Unlocker tool. And let's go ahead and jump over to the screen recording on my computer. Okay, once you have the Me Unlock tool download onto your computer, you're gonna wanna go ahead and log into it and you're gonna to need to put in your Xiaomi account details. And once you've logged into your Xiaomi account, it's gonna check if your Xiaomi account has permissions or not. And you're gonna to need to go ahead and restart your phone in fast boot mode. To do that, you're gonna go ahead and hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And you're gonna get a fast boot screen. Uh, it's gonna be like a picture of a little Xiaomi rabbit and once you have this screen up on your phone, then you know that you've enabled fast boot mode. You're gonna connect it to your computer, hit unlock now. You're not gonna be able to unlock it fully. It will fail at the 99% mark and it will tell you that you need to go ahead and fully uh, wait for the process to start basically. But you have to plug it into your computer to like officially start this process. Uh, two weeks later, when you go ahead and unlock the bootloader, everything is going to be deleted off the device. And it's worth noting that uh, if you have stuff set up, um, you don't, don't have stuff set up. But if you need stuff to be saved, uh, it like make sure you have it saved beforehand. Okay, now we're gonna go into the second part of this, which is going to be de-bloating the device. Now, this is a little bit trickier and a little bit more difficult, uh, but essentially, if you wanna use the device on the Chinese ROM, you need to debloat it. It's virtually unusable with all of the Chinese bloatware, and luckily for us, Xiaomi makes it relatively easy for us to go ahead and uh, like debloat the device. You're gonna need to go back into developer settings, and then you're gonna to need to enable USB debugging. I'll have links on my website to where you can go ahead and download this tool. This is something that I've covered like multiple times, but it's something that's it's worth noting for Redmi K30 Pro users simply because we don't know when the Redmi K30 Pro is gonna have an international release and some people wanna use the China device. Now, once you have USB debugging enabled, we'll jump over to the computer view and you're going to need to allow the USB debugging um, on the device and it should give you a device found in uh, USB debugging mode. And essentially from here, once you have the Xiaomi ADB Fastboot tools working, you can go ahead and uninstall all of the Chinese bloatware. And this is what you need to do if you wanna go ahead and use the Redmi K30 Pro on the China ROM. 